I try and understand how the brain works. And in particular, in my lab, we're trying to figure out how differences in how the brain works leave people vulnerable to mental health problems. in many ways I've kind of been pulling the thread for for the last maybe 10 years. We started out in a very narrow area trying to understand you know what goes wrong in the brain to cause this one disorder OCD obsessive compulsive disorder but the more we did research the more it became very apparent that no two patients are the same and no model is ever going to explain that kind of individualized experience. So more and more now the work in the lab really focuses on the individual and on trying to develop models that can explain all the variation that people have in experiences, in their biology, their pharmacology, that leave them vulnerable um, to, to certain illnesses, but also can help us understand what kind of treatment might work best for a certain individual. In a nutshell, we want to try and take the guesswork out of um, treatment in mental health. So developing tools that clinicians can use to help people get better faster. So if you want to get involved or the public want to get involved in this effort, we have a smartphone app called Narika that you can download today to learn how to keep your brain healthy and to help us with this basic research.